What's up guys and welcome to Web Education's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to make your internet speed faster on your PS5, basically how to reduce lag and how to reduce connection drops when you're playing games online. So for this video, I'm just going to share with you three tips that I use to make sure I'm playing online flawlessly without any drops and without any internet lag and sometimes even faster internet. So first, check if you're connected to the right Wi-Fi. Now, if you've connected your PS5 to multiple Wi-Fi connections, then sometimes the PS5 might switch to a different network when it senses the previous one either had some problems with internet connection or maybe it was unavailable for some time, it might switch to a different network. So if you find that your internet speed is laggy and your games are dropping online, first of all check if you're connected to the right Wi-Fi. And to do that, obviously go to settings and then go to network. And then here you should see the network that you're connected to. If it's a wrong one, simply go down to settings and then go to setup connection. Select that and you can go ahead and choose the correct Wi-Fi. So that's the first thing you need to do. Make sure you're connected to the right Wi-Fi. Number two, the reason your game might be lagging or being slow when you're playing online is because there could be downloads happening in the background of your PS5. Now this could be system software updates or some games are updating in the background, simply waiting for you to finish so that they can install. Now, as games are downloading in the background, this will obviously take a big chunk of your network bandwidth and that will obviously cause your online games to lag and become slow. So you might want to turn off automatic updates for both the software and the games you have on your PS5. Now, for system software, simply go to settings and then you want to scroll to system and then under system software, move to the right and then go to system software update and settings. So select that. And then here you should see download update files automatically you can see it's on by default you want to turn that off so that your ps5 will stop downloading system software updates automatically in the background while you're trying to play games online and then you can also stop automatic updates for games and to do that i'll just go all the way back so i can show you properly go to settings and then you want to scroll down to save data and game app settings so select that and then here, go to automatic updates. And then here you can see auto download is turned on and it says your PS5 will regularly check for latest updates and download update files when they are available. And that means even when you're playing other games, some of the other games installed on your PS5 will continue to check for updates and download these updates even when you're trying to play online. Now this might not be ideal if you're trying to not have any lag in your games. So turn that off. And all these things you're turning off Make sure after you play the game you're playing, you come back and turn them on or basically just go to the individual games or the system software update and update manually. You have to make sure you remember to do that every now and then. I'll leave links to those videos down in the description below, so make sure you check those out. But that's it about automatic updates. Now the third thing you can do to speed up your internet connection is to check your Wi-Fi frequency. Now, when you go to settings and go to network and check your Wi-Fi and even come here and test your internet connection so you can see your upload speeds and download speeds, the next thing you want to do is go to settings and then go to set up internet connection. Now here, you should see the current Wi-Fi network that you're connected to. So select option by pressing the options key on your controller. So this is the option key right here. So you want to press that. And then go to Wi-Fi frequency bands. Now, as you can see, it's currently set to automatic. So it's going to automatically switch between the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band. And while your network is switching between these two different bands, sometimes you might get some lag and sometimes it might drop the network when you're trying to play games online. And this could be annoying. And to make matters worse, this can even slow down your internet connection speed as a whole. So you want to choose one of these frequency bands so that your internet connection can stick to one band and avoid switching between the two, which is what causes that lag and causes the drops in internet connection. So for instance, I'm going to go for the 5 gigahertz 
and of course before I change this it's gonna be disconnected for a while but that's okay select okay so for me the 5 gigahertz did not work so I went for the 2.4 gigahertz and it connected so you want to choose the one that's ideal for you given your ISP and wherever you are in the world so before you go back to playing games make sure you test your internet connection so go back to connection status and then select test internet connection and this is just basically to make sure you're still getting the same speeds you were getting while it was in automatic so that's very important to make sure you didn't do more harm than good while you are changing to the specific network band and I have to say I've actually noticed a higher download speed and a slightly higher upload speed from what I had when it was in automatic so go ahead and try this on your PS5 and let me know what you find down in the comment section below but that's really how to increase your internet speed on your PS5 and how to avoid lagging or connection drops when playing games online thanks for watching you can leave your comments and questions down below don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips until the next one my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon